Hey guys. So my peers and I are walking into our future with a new president very, very soon, and we have seen wall-to-wall -wall coverage of why we shouldn't vote for Donald Trump, but I want to talk to you about why you shouldn't vote for Hillary Clinton. Everything that's done in secret is brought to the light, right? So WikiLeaks and Project Veritas have been uncovering a lot of information over the past few weeks, almost too much to keep up with. No matter if you agree with how this information was obtained or not, we can't let it go to waste. So I'm going to break down a few things that we've learned with 10 of the most shocking discoveries made by WikiLeaks and Project Veritas. Number 10. WikiLeaks revealed that Hillary Clinton, in a private meeting with unions, attacked anti-fracking environmentalists, saying they should get a life. Alrighty then. Number nine is Hillary Clinton's relationship with the top of the top one presenter, George Soros. We learned through WikiLeaks just how important he is to Hillary's campaign, and this man is worth $24.9 billion, according to Forbes, and had dumped in by July $25 million into Hillary Clinton's cause. And Hillary says she wants to get big money out of politics. Wrong. That is absolutely wrong. wrong. Number eight, her private versus public positions. Hillary openly said that she has a private and public position. She's admitting she's deceitful. The worst thing about this is that she tried to defend making this statement by pinning it on Abraham Lincoln. Is it acceptable for a politician to have a private stance on issues? Secretary Clinton, well, your two minutes. Right, as, as I recall, that was uh, something I said about Abraham Lincoln. She lied. Now she's blaming the lie on the late, great Abraham Lincoln. That's one that I have. Okay, Honest Abe. Honest Abe never lied. That's the good thing. That's the big difference between Abraham Lincoln and you. Number seven, her relationship with Wall Street. She tries to act really tough against Wall Street in public, uh, maybe to get Bernie supporters to warm up to her. I don't know. But in private, she has a very nice relationship with them, which we have seen through the transcripts that WikiLeaks has provided. Now it's been made clear that whenever she tries to act rough and tough against Wall Street, people see it kind of like this. Wow. Number six, Project Veritas uncovered the reality of voter fraud. You're saying there's a lot of absentee ballot fraud too. Oh, there's thousands of absentee ballots. I don't know where they came from. I take my vote seriously. And I don't want 10 other people coming in negating my vote by voting for the other candidate when they're not even registered voters. Number five is the proven fact that the majority of the media is on Hillary Clinton's team. Through WikiLeaks, we saw obvious ties with the Huffington Post and Think Progress. I mean, those are obvious. But it got even deeper when we saw her campaign being so close with the New York Times and 38 journalists, editors, and anchors that her staff met with privately for a party with a goal of Framing the race. The networks represented there were NBC, CNN, Politico, ABC, CBS, New York Times, MSNBC. But of course, Fox didn't make the cut. Say what? Number four is Donna Brazil. She is a former CNN contributor who gave a question for the debate to Hillary Clinton in advance. Just imagine if a Fox News contributor gave a question to Donald Trump in advance of a debate. Because that's exactly what happened in this case. But since they're Democrats, they get a pass. Now here's some great footage of Donna Brazile trying to talk her way out of this. How did you get that question, Donna? Well, Kelly, since I play straight up and I'll play straight up with you, uh, I did not receive any questions from CNN. Where did you get it? I, 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 you know, as a Christian woman, I understand persecution, but I will not sit here and be persecuted. Who gave you that question? Uh, Number three, where there's smoke, there's fire. Bill Clinton received $1 million from Qatar, a country with a horrible human rights record. Did he do them favors in exchange? Here's what a Huffington Post journalist had to say about it. This confirms sort of the worst uh, the portraits of the Clintons and how they operated out of office. And it raises obvious questions about why they were accepting this money. Now, number two is really disturbing, actually. Uh, Project Veritas caught Scott Fovel, who is now fired, on video saying they organize and pay people to incite violence at Trump rallies. Some of the things you'll hear on the tape are certainly hard to ignore. Enough we're learning for one person to be fired so far, another to resign. You can, you can message to draw them out mm -hmm. and draw them to punch you. I mean, it certainly looks damning on the tape. We have mentally ill people mm -hmm. that we pay to do shit. Make no mistake. Over the last 20 years, I've paid off a few homeless guys to do some crazy stuff. Finally, number one. 
I've heard Hillary Clinton repeat over and over how this election isn't rigged. I've even heard Elizabeth Warren jumping in and saying the same thing, which I just find so interesting when Debbie Wasserman Schultz literally had to step down, thanks to WikiLeaks, for rigging the primary against Bernie Sanders and then was immediately hired by Hillary Clinton right under your noses. Inconceivable! Now all of this just points out the hypocrisy that defines the Clintons. So don't vote for this kind of insider deep corruption. Uh, you know, it's just, it's just, um, what is the word? Oh yeah, deplorable. Just saying. I'm Ellie Mae, I'll see you next time. And keep an eye on WikiLeaks, I'm sure there's more to come.